what I think a lot of people see of the Aggie band is, oh, they do a halftime show, and oh, they play in the stands during the game. But there is a lot more that goes into it than just that as far as preparing for it. In order to be a member of the band, uh, you need to be a member of the Corps of Cadets as well. It's a completely different culture, I feel like, from a lot of college campuses. You come here and you see the cadets in their military uniforms, and it's a military training program of sorts, a leadership program as well, but there is physical training involved. The Aggie band is much more than a university marching band. In spite of uh, how much this school has grown to current 65,000 uh, students, the Texas Aggie Band has remained a cadet unit. People really like what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, now forming at the north end of Kyle Field, the nationally famous Fighting Texas Aggie Band. for drill. Once we're here, everything that's happening outside of here just kind of melts away. When we're here, we're here to work, we're here to put that time in, and that's how we get these amazing results that we get every single week. We're a military style marching band, so it's very precise and, you know, you're doing 90 degree turns and there are a lot of college bands do, you know, different shapes and drills on the field that that's not exactly our style. trying to correct all that stuff. You understand? Yes, if you will rely on the bugle ring, if you'll rely on the bugle It's really difficult because, like, the rehearsal, like, the amount of drill that we do is, like, 20 hours a week. Make sure you're covered down on your rank before you uh, flank south in the delayed block band. Typical wake up is around 5.10. Got to be ready to go at 5.20. We'll have some form of training time, whether that's going to be physical training time or that's going to be a military training time. Just the variety of things we get to do before band rehearsal even starts, like that alone testifies to the discipline and the running endurance that everyone has here. The 125th year that the Aggie Band has been a thing here at this school, which is unbelievable to think about. I think people recognize that it's a really special thing. It takes a lot of effort, and not even just the hours that we put into practice, but you know, being in the core and doing all of that, yeah, it's an incredible challenge that produces an amazing result. I have an older brother, he's five years older than me, and when he was reaching that point where she's starting to pick where he's applying and where he wants to go to school, he came and did a tour at A&M. He, being a 17, 18 year old boy, decided, you know what, that looks really cool. I would love to be a part of the Corps. And on top of that, I'm gonna audition to be a member of the band. And he was this scrawny, big haired boy who we sent off to college and when he came back, he bulked up a little, got some muscle on him. His demeanor changed, his discipline levels, just the way that he was as a person. Five years down the road when I was looking at what I wanted to do and who I wanted to become, that just seemed like the right path to follow. My brother's name is Nate. Nate's a little bit bigger than me, uh, but he's a sophomore this year. He's one of the symbol hey. players. You ready for the game? Yeah. Well, so I really worked to distance myself from him. I say that because my nameplate is Rossi, and his nameplate is also Rossi. 
and I wanted, whenever people think of Nate, they would think of Nate Rossi, they wouldn't think of me. I think that he had the opportunity and he really took advantage of that his freshman year and now people know him for who he is and we both bear the family name proudly and I think we both represent it well. Since we were growing up, it's always been him and I against the world kind of deal and it's real important to me and the fact that he gets to come here and do this with me, that's a really awesome thing. Right now what we're doing is we're about to call a formation so just while we're here make sure everyone has a proper shave because the uniform make sure everyone has the proper uniform parts and then make sure to like you have your music um, anything else you might need if you want money for concession stands all those kinds of things so we just check because right now is the time where you could run back in the dorms right quick and grab it and come back out so after that you won't have an opportunity to do that again as a member of the core we are the keepers of the spirit and guardians of the tradition you know whenever you have this uniform it's the same as everyone else in the core almost except for like this is one big thing that's real important to us is this band liar. Rick to the quad! Rick! Hey! But everyone's getting ready. Drum majors are running back and forth right now counting lines to make sure we have the same instruments on either side so that it lines up properly. Uh, and then we're gonna step off and head over there. The Aggie Band doesn't do a pregame show. Instead we do, it's called marching. We call it marching. The Aggie Band offers something on game day that the game of football can't. You don't see a band like the Texas Aggie Band every day on the street. We can be in a parade anywhere in the United States of America. And people are like, man, I haven't seen something like that in 50 years because it's timeless. We don't have cheerleaders, we have yell leaders, and we have a full set of yells. A -G -G -I -E -S. The yell leaders is something that's really neat. So there'll be guys in full um, white uniforms, and they'll be running around leading everyone in yells. It's a lot of fun. It's different than I feel like a lot of other environments. Getting the environment at Kyle Field is unbelievable. We're playing with Bama, so it's going to be a real big game, and it gets real packed, real loud. Every year we play Bama, like everyone sort of like looks to up their game, you know, and the stakes are always a little bit higher whenever you're playing against the best, for sure. Kyle Phillips in general is like the biggest stadium in Texas. I think the fourth biggest stadium in all of college football. You get that filled up to capacity. You get all these screaming fans screaming the same thing at the same time with the with the yells that we do. When when the band's down in right behind the end zone, getting set up, it's so loud. It's hard to hear yourself think sometimes. We get sweaty and we get loud and we lose our voices. But what better way to voice your Aggie spirit now? really sums up everything when we um, saw Varsity's horns off. It's like a physical manifestation of what we stand for as Aggies. You know, every single Aggie holds each other together and then we sway back and forth and we sing, saw Varsity's horns off. So basically you have your hands on each other's shoulders. Um, left foot is always in front, right leg is, oh yeah, and you cross your legs in between. So you're getting real nice and tight and you're just going back and forth and you're just singing, saw Varsity's horns off. Saw.
something that's always really neat that I've gotten to see is like whenever we do do our halftime show, people don't go to the concession lines or the bathroom lines, like they stand up if they were sitting down. <laughs> This is the first file in the band. It's a group of seniors that's selected by the directors and the rising drum majors for that year. It's people who are typically seen as leaders because they are in charge of leading the band, people are quite literally marching in front. I don't play a bugle, we just hold it there for a show, but that's what we do. stand the entirety of the football game. So in the student section, you'll see thousands of students just standing there watching the game intently, you know, being the 12th man for our team. Uh, nobody sits down during halftime. Nobody leaves during halftime. It's really something, something special. Just whenever we're marching out on the field for halftime, everyone stays there. You just, the environment, uh, the players feed off the energy, definitely. It's, it's awesome. The community here is, yes, we want the Aggies to win, but we also want to enjoy and commemorate the times we're sharing together on these Saturdays because we don't get a lot of good moments like these. So when we do have them, everyone just commits. That's why we stand during football games. That's why everyone's committed to the yells we do by the yell leaders. And we wave our towels and it really feels like we are a part of the team because we are the 12th man. Part of the people that you will meet here is unbelievable. It's on a different level, for sure. And it's just something that brings everyone together and it's just a special thing that no one else gets to be a part of, really. Throughout the years, you see yourself coming back because of the relationships that you build, the unity and camaraderie that draws you back and makes you want to be here and wake up every morning and do stuff that a typical college student won't do. When I'm practicing with the band, I know that this is my little circle for me to practice and mess up and at the same time uplift these people next to me because we only get one four year experience of being in the band and to be able to uplift those people on a daily basis just because I know they do the same for me, it's just, it's just been phenomenal. We were always told our freshman year you're gonna marry and bury your buddies and like that hasn't sunk in yet for us I don't think and I don't think it will until after we leave here whenever we're 10 years out, 20 years out. 
It's tough being a part of the Corps of Cadets, and it's even tougher if you're assigned to one of the six band units. This is a unique opportunity, one to be a part of something greater than yourself. And what's most awesome are these young people that frankly give up a lot to be a part of this damn band. But this damn band changes lives. It's much more than a four-step countermarch and a block two.